A lot of great mentors, beginning from my uh, uh, high school coach, uh, Dr. Farrell. He was my high school coach. Uh, uh, coach Lafayette Stribling, uh, Coach Dave Whitney. And along the way, when I began to work camps and clinics, uh, uh, I began to meet a lot of coaches uh, across the country. So uh, I, those were my three primary mentors. Uh, Jay Bowen, the guy that coached me at East Central. Uh, so all those guys together uh, gave me the, I guess, the nod to go ahead and start uh, my coaching career. What does a Luther Riley team look like? How are we able to get to this right here? Well, uh, I, I often say that the trophies are the byproduct of a lot of things uh, done right. So if you think of my team, number one, they'll be very well dressed, disciplined, teams that played really hard, uh, teams that executed, played smart, played together, uh, very selfless teams, uh, and teams that were very professional and classy in wins or losses. Uh, we made sure that our team uh, represented the fam their families, uh, the school, uh, and of course our program. So seeing a team, uh, and we had, you know, we got many accolades just our, our presentation of our team. Uh, we wanted to look like a college team coming out, and, and most of our guys aspired to go to college, and uh, we just wanted to give them that, that uh, outlook and perception that, hey, we are a college team. Out of these five state championships, uh, who, you know, let's kind of rank them, one through five, <laughs> if you would. Like, you know, talk to me about each team and some players and, and different things like that. Well, my very first championship, uh, will probably be my, uh, I'm not gonna say best, but I'm gonna say because it's your first, you know, it really resonated with me from this perspective. We had a team that we had maybe one player that was division one, uh, a lot of the role players, but they had bought into our concepts and visions and things, and we beat a team, and we beat a lot of teams, and the team we beat for the championship had three pros on it. They were ranked 17th in the country, had six Division I players on it. So the message that I, I, I got from that, and of course we conveyed to our team, is that it doesn't matter how big, how small, how, if you work hard, work smart, work together, um, and, and just stay with what we're doing, you can be successful, not only on the basketball court, but in life as well. And that was my main message to make sure that life after basketball was the thing that we uh, tried to instill in our young men. Let's go back to that first championship. You know, you said you beat the team. Who was that team? I'm not afraid to say that was Lanier High School. Okay. <laughs> Thomas Billups and the Lanier Bulldogs. No, I'm just teasing. Coach Billups is a great friend of mine and uh, he and I competed, very professional. I love Coach Billups. His son and I went to school together. Uh, uh, but when we got on the court, we were really, really at each other's throat. So, uh, but I knew they was going to come in hard, tough, uh, hard nosed, tough. And of course, they had Monty Ellis, uh, had uh, uh, Bobby Clark, Charles Thomas, Isaac Wells, all those guys, Al Graham, and things like that. But what we did, uh, we focused on what we wanted to do, uh, how we wanted to uh, strategize, and how we wanted to beat this team. And certainly, we had a uh, ninth grader to come in, and we, of course, emphasized offensive rebounding, and uh, the game was tight, and uh, there was a missed shot, and of course, Jarvis uh, Williams got to put back uh, with about a minute to play in the game to put us up for the victory. So that was a sweet uh, uh, win and sweet championship for us, being our first one. Well, our second one was even sweeter because, you know, being a country boy, unknown, and uh, they thought it was, uh, I guess, not necessarily luck, but it, it wasn't, you know, it just happened, you know, it just by happenstance. So what happened, we had to show not only Jackson, but we had to show the entire state that uh, we were for real. So uh, we had those guys coming back, and certainly uh, uh, Monte Ellis averaged close to 30 that year, and we held him to seven shots. Not, not seven points, seven shots. And of course, uh, our team executed the game plan. And of course, I had to show Coach Billups who the man was then at that point. So we came in and not only spanked him once, but spanked him twice. 
So uh, that kind of uh, put a staple in my coaching career, uh, I guess locally that, hey, he kind of know what he's doing. So, uh, but we all worked hard, Coach uh, Billups and uh, of course, uh, Coach Brent and myself and all the other coaches in Jackson, we worked hard and wanted what was best for our student athletes. Our fourth one was with, uh, of course, uh, uh, Scotty Harrelson and that group. And that was probably the group with the most character. Uh, although we molded the other teams into what we want, but those student athletes, they won uh, 22 games in a row. Uh, we lost, we had Lanier up at Lanier uh, in the, some tournament, uh, maybe Christmas tournament, and uh, they came back and beat us because they thought it was good. You know, we had a, uh, we were preseason number one, and certainly uh, after that game, I didn't say a word. They knew that they had let each other down, and certainly uh, they didn't lose another game that year throughout the entire state championship and the Grand Slam. Uh, but thanks to one of the newspaper guys who uh, is my good friend now, uh, they counted us out. They said we didn't have a chance to beat this team in New Hope in Columbus. We talking about New Hope. We in Jackson, Mississippi, man. We 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 get, we fighting every night against whoever we play uh, because everybody is bringing their best game. So Todd Kelly, I'm not ashamed to uh, put him out there. Todd Kelly said we didn't have a chance to beat New Hope. They were gonna beat us by 20, ten or twenty. Uh, well. Uh, I think they may have scored 40 points in that game. We beat them by 27 or 28 in the Grand Slam. Uh, and the coach at Ole Miss, not Kermit Davis, his dad said, uh, that's a college team. They ran like a college team. Uh, coach Davis Sr. So, uh, so certainly we went ahead and uh, with those guys, you know, Scotty Harrison, uh, Carl Blair, uh, Emory Kelly, Jalen Courtney, uh, uh, all those guys, Marcus Hooten, uh, I mean, uh, such a, 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 a Jonathan Lewis, an array of good team, uh, a good team, good players, good talent, and good kids, on, you know, to uh, supplement it all. You know, in every coach's career, you always have the, the highs, but you have your lows. You know, so, you know, you were here 11 seasons. Uh, talk to me about that team that you just felt like underachieved, that should have won a state championship, should have done better, but just for whatever reason didn't get it done? Well, uh, I was here 11 seasons, but I, I played for nine championships. Well, I went to the champions, went to the Coliseum nine straight times, uh, played for six. Well, uh, you know, in, anytime you lose seniors and things like that, I'm not going to say any of them underachieved because, you know, every year we were there. Uh, my first two years, my first year, I would say we didn't necessarily underachieve, but I had a talented group and I was new. So it was just, you know, coming behind a great Coach Brent and, and of course Coach Chuck and Coach Anderson. Uh, coming behind those guys, man, I had to prove myself. So uh, I'm not going to say that was a, a necessarily underachievement, but it, what it was, it was a, it was a wake up call for me. Uh, it hurt so bad when I lost my first year against Jim Hill. I mean, my principal, Mr. Red, who's my number one man, he, I, I missed work for about a week after that. He said, Coach, the song is, is up. You can come on to work now. You just continue to you just work hard because he really supported me. I was really crushed because I thought there was a team uh, that was going to make it. I had Justin Reed, who was an absolute animal. When I say animal, he was an animal. God rest his soul, but uh, never had a problem with him at all. So. Uh, but there were some kids on that team that, you know, wasn't, hadn't bought in 100% like a Justin had. So we had some shortcomings there. So to be a champion means that you have a bunch of special student athletes. And, uh, and certainly uh, I don't have any regrets. And, uh, you know, I enjoy my tenure here at Provine. And, I, and Jackson Public School was, has always been my number one district.